Alright, hello everybody, I'm Riddick, and I hope the audio works this time. My microphone is back up to 100%. Uh, I've made sure all that was going that way. And I hope it doesn't drown it out. I lowered the music, like I said in the last one. And I didn't want to just put one out and have music, because unfortunately it just doesn't feel right. So the, the previous one I posted, they had it kind of half an I hope that will turn out okay. Uh, but this one, I'm actually going to back to talking again. And with a So if you hear all my click clicking and thumping and all that shenanigans, I apologize. Uh, which is the way I have it set up right now. I this is what I have to do. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess you just know I'm actually playing instead of doing some other preset thing. So I'm sure this has probably looked a lot more upgraded from the previous one. As I said, I did more things. I can't remember if I talked about what I was going to do over here. Uh, but it's going to be this bad boy. So the Alice source is going to be over here with double protection. <laughs> and then uh, this is going to be the Ankylosaur. And then Brachiosaurs are going to be right here in the big heart shaped one. Right here is probably going to be the Dilophosaurus. And then, yeah, Dilophosaurus. And then I need to put a big sticker up on my door. That I'm doing this so you don't hear a squeak! Um, and then over here was gonna be the herd resource, or the basically the big herd, uh, like parasaurs and stuff like that. And then didn't I do. Yeah, there's one. Okay, yeah, I was smart. I was able to build two of these over here. So, I'm trying to decide what I wanna do. Because I gotta put like some sort of. Uh, guest thing over here. Do I have a gift shop? Yes, I have two gift shops already, I think. Do I have a fossil zone? Um, let's see here. I do have a fossil zone. I have a fast food. I have a restaurant and a toy shop. Uh, let's put the bar. Let's see if I can put the bar right in here somewhere. Because remember, the closer to the dinosaurs, the better, apparently. Right here would probably be a great spot, actually. Let's see here, right? Let's see, how is this viewing here? If I want to give him a front row seat, that would be great. I'm going to try it and see if this makes a difference. It's going to be kind of a weird pathing option, but I'm going to give it a try. Let's see here. Oh no! Is it not working? Shoot, okay, well. Let's fix that. And we'll just do it the normal way. I was trying to be smart and creative and it didn't work. Darn it. Or could I do this? <gasps> I can do it like this. Yes! This would be great, right? Here. Yeah, right there. Oh, come on, you're kidding me. Aha! There we go. So now they go right here and they go to the bar and it's going to be by the Dilophosaurus. So, nothing too fancy, but... Okay. Just because... Let's see here. I don't know. Do I need a, I need a research center, a fossil center, though? Because I already have a lot of stuff I need. Innovation center. That's what I need to kind of be centralized somewhere. I might do it over here because it's a lot, much larger area. Um, I probably should try to... Or should I do... Hmm, I could put it right by these hotels here and then that way the paths can kind of veer off in every direction. You know, it goes like here, and I can go back that way, this way, towards the T-Rex. This is where, right here is where they go in, and they go opposite directions. This is actually a good spot right here, actually. So right there. There's that one. I don't want to put them off to set too much yet. Um... Just because I want it to be, you know, somewhat centralized. I don't want it to have like a bunch of different path. 
Excuse me there. I had to pull out a piece of corn from dinner. I'm not, not got stuck in my tooth. All right, so these are really close to dinosaurs. Uh, this is a viewing distance of dinosaurs. What's gonna be over here? Sorry, Triceratops. Um, I probably once I have everything set, I probably have to go through and mm, I don't know if I want to. Because that's part of the, the the like thrill of it is like, oh, did I do it right? And you can like manage it, but I don't want to be like micromanaging when I'm trying to watch the park like get real packed and flourish. Um, hmm. Do I have uh, room for another ECU center? Oh, yes. It's always good to have multiples of these because things can get hairy very, very fast. Hmm. Alright, so I got my power. Got this going. Alright, so what do I want to put over here? What kind of dinos do I have? Well, let's get an enclosure set up here. Here, because this is kind of like a little. I, I, like I said, I wish they had more like of a swampy character. Um, not character. I've been playing too much of Gilbert's, <laughs> like a swampy dinosaur, so you can make like a big marsh area, or even like a giant, like anaconda or something, like as a DLC or something. That'd be kind of cool. Um, but unfortunately, uh, do I want a bigger dinosaur? Mm, I don't know if I, like I say I want the T-Rex or Indominus over here. Do I want to make like a huge enclosure for them? Hmm. Because it is sandbox, so I could like experiment with it and have like the one like like they like they battle it out, or I could have two T-Rexes and they would battle it out, and then the one that wins gets more infamy and that raises your rating. I could do that, but then that's like right next to all the people too, so I was like, Ugh. I don't know how I do it. Because I've already got high dinosaurs, like the Brachiosaurus, I've got smaller carnivores, I've got a higher end one with the Allosaur over here. And then this one... Where did I ever build a... Yeah, it's right here. And another high end dinosaur, the Triceratops. So... so that's gonna be cool to have the Brachiosaurus heads up here in the middle. What do I want to do next? That is... high rating. Well, let's uh, get it started and I'll figure it out from there, because that's how I roll. Yeah, I want to do that. Do I want to do that? Or do I want to do... Yeah, let's do that, just so that way I could connect it from here. Do electric concrete if I want to do bigger, but man, that just doesn't cost. So let's just start with the basic premise first here. Keep waiting here. Like, no, 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 da da ball from Planet Coaster when it makes the sound effects when stuff wouldn't work. I need to play that one again too. Okay. So, oh, I just had a really, really, really good idea. I had a really good idea. 
Uh, but how am I going to approach it? I, I remember when I said before how I wanted something as a big observation? <laughs> uh, I have an idea, but let me... Um, how do I want to do this? Because I have to loop the fence back around to be able to connect it to the other side. So... Hmm... How can I do this here? If I go here... I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's fix the... land here. Let's move this out. And let's lower it a little bit. Smooth it again. Kind of balance it out a little bit over here. But what I want to do is I want to have the innovation center here. And then what happens is they go out of the innovation center at the top here, and then there's like a well, like here, it's an innovation center is in the very middle, actually. And then um, they can kind of walk around all around it. And then there'll be like a reinforcement around the innovation center. Okay, so how am I going to see here? Okay, so I want a path to go here. And then for my fences, I definitely am going to want these. Okay. Like if, if you're, like when you get to this point, like do you see what I'm like trying to do here? Like I want people to be able to safely get through here, but then once they get through here, like, I'm going to build something around where they can, uh, view. Hmm. Let's see, can I... Legitimately thinking really hard right now too, because I could just go here and then okay. I have to let me do that. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, let's see, let me make a one little simple path out of each direction. I'll use those two uh, little stump things as a guidance point. Or they're flags rather than stumps. Yes, this is this this is good. This is good. Okay. Um then, like, see, I can literally just just put this just like like just like that, like just on its own. So it shouldn't have to snap on a fence. Um, but that's where I'm trying to think of how I could. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oops. Oh, better. Okay. 
this is probably ended up going to be a, a longer episode to make up for me not putting the other ones in. So, let's do... Closures, let's have one of these. It's kind of at each point here. Or do I want to do... Hmm. Because this is a much longer range, so yeah, these would probably be better for me. And then I can put the other ones like in between them. And this one can go... Right here. And then this one goes... Right here. And yes, I don't have to get power to them. This one can go... Hmm, do I want to kind of do a... Like a... Like, like they cross, like see each other, like they can like overlap each other. I might do that. Um, that would be kind of a good idea. This one goes here. There. Now I've got towers here. So let's do one of these right here. One of these right here. This is why I love the sandbox. I can be more creative and not have to worry about like messing up. Another one right here. And then another one right here. And I'm right here. And finally, one more right here. Yes, that looks so cool. Okay. And then I could disconnect them all around in one big loop. Okay. So let's get those connected. It's not going to be perfect, but. Here, uh -huh. from there to there, and then from here to here. I have to let's see here. Can I? Oh, oh, there we go. And then from here to there. That works. there. See, it's not a perfect shape, but it doesn't have to be, right? Because this is all about your imagination and stuff like that. Okay. Last one. It's the land, I think, is why it's kind of wonky. Yeah, it's a little. But then again, it's fine because it's not supposed to be. Perfect landscape, right? Oh, I like how this looks. Oh, I wish I could like. Oh, let's see. Uh, is there a button to print screen it? Hold on. Let me see if I can do this. Well, I want to get all the power to it first. Um, okay. So we're definitely gonna want a large power station. Hmm. Now where can I put it? All right. You know what? I don't think I need. I need that much. What does it take? Three power. So three power each. So I need three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, four, seven. Okay, so I do need something fairly big. Medium is plenty. 
<laughs> oh, spell power station is plenty. Okay, cool. Hmm. Do I want to put it? Because I have to connect a path to it. Can I squeeze it in here somewhere? No. Hmm. Let's do it. Right here. Hmm. Let's see. Because I don't want it to like, like I don't like. This is like supposed to be the hub, you know. So. Well, you know what? Let's just do. Wait, oh, wait, here we go. This might help. Let's put this one right here. And let's put all this over here. Oh, I don't want to... Yeah, small substations. There. There. Alright. There. in right over here. Okay. So I have one, two, three, four. Okay, so let's get rid of that one. And then put another one. Smaller one, like back here. Right there. That goes there. That one goes to this one over here, if I can get there. This one goes to that one. And this one connects back over to the other one. Then, this one goes from here to, hmm, let's make this one direct. That's obstructed. How's it obstructed? Do I have to wrap around? How's it all obstructed? Obstructed. Let's do, let's try this to see if this works. Yeah! Improved output. And then outage protection. Nice. Alright. Oh, I'm excited to get this done. Okay. Um Okay, let's see here. Now I have to protect my peoples here, but then I have to somehow Can I build I can't remember. Yes I can. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, so this is going to be hard because of the land, so I may actually have to... Hmm. Let's see here. Yes, yes, I like it, I like it. Yeah, okay. Got that. I don't want to forget about this. So this is probably would be the hardest part for me to input. So that's why I'm doing this now. I do like how it kind of uh, snaps to the... You know what I mean? Like it kind of snaps to the road. Let's see. I really hope this doesn't come back to bite me in the butt, but I really like how this is going. 
it's cool. It's it looks different. Um, yes, they all connect. Oh, I love that. Yes, 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 yes. shape, but that's okay. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Glorious. <laughs> I'm getting a look. Okay. This one. Okay, two. Okay, it's the pathway again. And then I need to raise this. No, I need to lower it. Right, lower. Smooth. So it's a little bit easier to get to. Oh. <laughs> Bob the Builder. Hi, you told me to be quiet, but I'm sitting over here listening to you. Yes, God. Ha, ha, ha. Yes, yes, yes. I'm like, God, I can't even get you this excited myself. This game is, like, beating me. Are you having fun, sir? Mm-hmm. Do I need to buy you the Indoraptor Lego set from work? No. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. I, I feel like you would have fun with that, too. No. What? It's Indoraptor. My stream. Okay, I'm gonna get it for you. He's giving me a face. <laughs> oh, He's hijacking my stream again. Hello, Help me. everyone. Bye bye, everyone. We have been saved for this time. Fuck you. <laughs> Okay, yeah, okay. Have fun, everyone. And don't forget, cut it. Mm -hmm. I, I know I'm working on it. I'm, I'm, <laughs> let me focus. I was doing good. Yes, I got it. Ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my content. Yes, I got it. Ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you need to title this. <laughs> oh, I'm all told one for you. Oh, and french fries. Wow. That's <laughs> racist. <laughs> Wait, is that racist? I don't know. I don't know, but you're going to get demonetized. <laughs> no! <laughs> like and subscribe to help us real quick today. Okay, bye! <laughs> like and subscribe. I'm going to be poor! Oh, God. Oh, yeah, Julia! <laughs> Alright, so. I am lacking this. Okay. Now... I need to figure out how I'm going to protect all of this. That's going to be hard to get that. But this is going to be bitching once this is done. It's going to be a huge enclosure. Uh, shut up! Let's see, now I'm getting color commentary. I should have let her come over. Leave me alone. Don't leave me alone. So, let's see here. More shrubby dubbies here. And yes, I will orient the, uh, oops, let me just do this so I can see where I'm building first. The plant feeders and herbivores. Uh, I don't know if I want to, oh, that would be even more conflicted because I don't know if I want to make this a, uh, sorry. <laughs> I, I really need to get someone to draw pictures of us like doing stupid faces and just edit in what you like belch or something. <laughs> just like, like, it's just, it's just, <laughs> just shake your head. Okay. 
Jason. <laughs> uh, let's see. Is there enough? This is really cramped over here, but that's okay. Um, Alright, so back to building the walls. Uh-oh. Feeding needs resupply, okay. Alright, Ranger teams. Go be useful. Feeder. Resupply request acknowledged. Heading to the feeder now. Alright, that's what I need to do too, is another uh, ranger station. Squeeze it right here. Um, yes, I can. I'm not going to comment on that. We're good. We don't need color commentary anymore. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. But he said squeeze it. Mm hmm. Oh yes, this, I hope the music, I really hope the music doesn't overstep at this time. My microphone's at max, but I'm loving this. This is, oh, I'm having so much fun. Alright, let's see here. Sometimes I, I've done that before where I, I get so into when I get really creative that I forget that I'm like streaming or I'm recording and so while I'm recording I just there's this this utter silence and they're like I'm not doing it on purpose I swear. Okay that should be good because it covers that there. Um. Because I don't want to, I mean, I could try to fan the wall all the way down here, but why? Because they can't go up the mountains. I've already proven that much. So this is like a big like watering hole over here, and this would be a great like view thing for the towers. So I'm going to put a little bit of trees over here. And then kind of like blended into the mountain here a little bit to make it look like it's more like an oasis there we go so now it looks a little more encapsulated in the part of the mountain like it's a hideaway here and let me add a little bit of shrubs to look a little more natural There, there we go. Now, here comes the big question. Do I want it to be a huge thing of herbivores, or do I want it to be an ecosystem? Herbivores. Mm -hmm. <laughs> herbivores are just as dangerous as the carnivores are to people. Okay, so ecosystem. Proceeding to the feeder now. Now that he says that, he's going to go to Herbivore. <laughs> Feeder resupply request received. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's right. i got to do that. I have to upgrade these new centers here. Alright, let's see. Reload speed. 
accuracy, scheduling, accuracy, and then scheduling. For the second ranger center, load speed, accuracy, accuracy, and then scheduling. Oops. Okay. Alright, let's save this real quick, because it's like I said, it's a longer one for this episode. Oh. Let's see. There we go. Okay. Uh, I do have a gate there, right? Yeah. Feeder supplies inbound. Go. Attending to feeder supply. Adding to the list. This one. Responding to resupply request. I was a bit I don't know why I bothered uh, putting those in, but I guess it's I was like a placeholder for me. En route to top up feeder. There we go. Okay. And then I want to do a little bit more trees over here. More shrubs. Let's add a little bit more water over here. So it's kind of like a like two spots they can go. There's there. There's actually three. There's this watering spot over here. Um, now this is where. Uh, let's see here. Let's do. I'll figure that out in a second. I had a thought, but I gotta figure it out now. All right. So we gotta have a bar. People love to get drunk. Gotta have a restaurant because people love to eat. I can get it to fit. Oh, this is gonna be tricky. Terrain constraints. Oh, it, oh, I almost had it. Not the best positioned restaurant, but I don't care. Okay, and then can I squeeze in? Bowling alley or an arcade or something. Train constraints. Yeah, this is where it's tricky. Like I can put one, I can put a I could put a bowling alley right here. I mean it's not really by the dinosaurs though. Hmm. I need like the small stuff. Gift shop, can I squeeze this in? Oh, 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 almost had it. Ladies and gentlemen, have you worked up for the headline? Let our new restaurant serve you. I listened for that audio cue. Oh, wait, did you hear it? I saw it. Yeah, got it. Okay. Hmm. Let's see now. Okay, so I have um, a gift shop, a bar, and a restaurant. In this centralized area, so yeah, they have entertainment. Or well, they have, yeah, they have a place to shop. They have a place to eat and a place to drink. Um, yeah, I wish I could squeeze like a like the arcade or something in here, but it doesn't look like I can. Be great if I could. So it keeps like snapping, see, and then it, like throws off all the positioning. So I could put it like right there, and just like open it up, but then it'd be I'd have to like wrap it around again. Hmm. I need, I need room for the these first, though. So, like, see, I need to do I need to do that, what I just said, but with this instead, somehow. It's not going to be very pretty, though. Um, 
Hmm. Let's try this. And then just get rid of that. And then connect it. And then wall it off. There. So now it's not. It's a part of it, and they can still kind of wander over here a little bit. And then I go this way, and that I am protecting people. So that's one hatchery down. And then this one. How can I do this one? Hmm. So I'm trying to keep it to look as normal and natural as possible without like, interfering too much, without having to move too much stuff either. Hmm. I could go down the sides. See, I wish, yeah, see, I wish I could do that, just stick it on a wall like that. I mean, I could do that, I think, maybe? I don't know. Um, if I remove the paths. But... Hmm, let's see, so if it's like that... But then, it wouldn't look like you wouldn't be able to move around all this stuff here, so I may have to do this. And then do what I did before, kind of path it out and wall it out. So I go here, and then just... There. So now it has a path to it, which I still never understood. And I have two hatcheries. And I'm going to give them their maximum success rate. So I can mod the crap out of whatever I'm making here. Because that's nature, right? Alright, now what do I want in here? There's the Metricanthosaurus, which I think, I don't know if that's as, as aggressive as some of the other ones. Spinosaurus, he's very, very popular, but he's also very, 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 very aggressive. And he's even higher ranked than Tyrannosaurus Rex. How is he outranked the king? Hmm. Oh, it's his defense and his resilience is his defense is a little bit higher, but the T-Rex lasts longer. So he must have like the Spinosaurus must have had like tougher scales, or maybe it's because it's more agile. And the T-Rex obviously is because his chomp is like ridiculous. I would want to put a gigant uh, Gigantosaurus, but I don't have them all maxed out yet. Raptors are tough because they always are trying to break out. And you need to have like four of them in a pack. I think I'm going to make it interesting. I'm going to go with what I said. I'm going to make two different T-Rexes. Oh no. And see how they duke it out. And then I'll figure it out from there. <laughs> Someone's bored. <laughs> Shut up. So let's make this guy Alpine. And how do I want to mod him here? Do I want to make them both Null Gene or do I want to make them both 
Hmm. Creates bone density. You definitely want that. Skin toughness. What if I made them the same? Then they would be just be like a rant. That would be cool too. Skin toughness. So I have increased bone density, tooth hardness, or increased bone density, skin toughness, tooth hardness. Um, strong muscle fibers. Uh, brain aging. Cardio strength. Ooh, that would make it interesting too. Because it would be more in shape. Okay. And then how else do I want to do it? Hyper efficient blood so they can repair themselves quicker. Okay, so I'll make them the same, but then the other one will have an alpine, or once this one will be alpine, and the second one will be a steep pattern. Let's do that. That'll be fun. Alright, let's do that one there. And then modify this one. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be good. This is gonna be good. Okay, so let me do that. T-Rex, and then modify him and make him, or her, Whatever you want to choose, because I think it was, I'm, st I'm pretty sure it was the females that were the big ones. But uh, the T-Rexes, that was one thing that a lot of people talk about is they did go in pairs, especially when they had like their young. But then once the young got old enough, then they're like, okay, fuck you, grow up, you're a teenager. So they actually would like be parents and as such. So you would see two at a time, which make back like, in the movie, makes it all the more dangerous because they're both big, they're both savage. One was just a little bit bigger than the other, and it's usually the female, I believe, uh, but I could be wrong, I'm not a paleontologist, but that's what I always find that interesting. Uh, humans, generally speaking, guys are bigger and then the women are smaller, but then there's all these like different things that happen. Like, if, it, if you go like, think like science-y, that's why I like the science stuff, um, there's just like everything that's happened over the years, it's like switching. There's huge women, there's short guys, and it's like, what if that happened in, with the animals? Like, would it like throw everything off? Like, I don't want to go too much into that because that's not what this is all about. I, I always just find that kind of stuff interesting. Like, how that stuff works, how it's been played out. And it's, it's just interesting to me. So, I am going to stop this one here. This is probably going to be a 45 to close to Iron Man episode. I guess I'll see when it renders. And... I hope you guys like this one. hope my audio works. I really hope my audio works this time. <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoyed this one. That it audio works provided. <laughs> and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Stay tuned for more. I am ready. Thank you all for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.